welcome to uh, 2012. Everybody here and everybody at Soul TV. January 4th, our, for those of you who are new, Metaphysics and Masters is when we take an aspect of one of the great ones or part of their teachings and move it with our bodies. This morning we're working on, we're, we're focusing on someone very special to me. His birthday is tomorrow is Paramahansa Yogananda. Mm -hmm. Yes. He, um, he was born in 1893. He left the body on, in March in 52. He wasn't here very long, 40, 59 years. But what he did was amazing. And he, Yogananda was one of the first to come to the West and live here. One of the first avatars. They call him a Prem avatar, which Prem means love. That means he was an incarnation of love. He is an incarnation of love. And so the main thing that I really would love each one of us to focus, because we're in a new year, as we look at these masters, they are not out there somewhere. Yes, his body passed away in 1952. And for those of you who ever come to visit us in Encinitas, Yogananda has left for us a beautiful meditation gardens right on the bluff of the Pacific Ocean. So come and see that. We can go every day. But he wasn't here just for those who would follow Self-Realization Fellowship or become Kriyabans or his disciples. He also came bringing his energy here in the United States so that when a great one comes like that, their auric field, the energy from it, stays here, especially in the places where they've been. And he traveled extensively. The energy stays there, and those of us who are born there, raised there, lived around there, traveled to there, without even knowing it, we could pass through the remnants of their auric field. You know that from quantum physics, that atoms, we could be breathing in atoms from the Christ or the Buddha, because they're just, it's energy, and that we're all part of the quantum soup. So, as I said, the main thing that I would really like to focus on, one is the fact that he is an avatar of love. He brought he brought a new iteration of love, self-love, love for the divine, love for life. But also, the masters, nothing about the masters outside of ourselves in 2012 really has too much relevance. It's the energy of the masters that resonate with us inside. So what we're going to touch into today as we just look about a little bit of his life and some of his teachings, where is that inside of us? Let it touch you there and birth that. Let his vibration resonate within and incubate for you that same consciousness that he had. Otherwise, he and the other great ones, you could get a thousand hugs from Amma, but if you don't realize that that love that she was giving you is here, it's it's going to be just a, you know, a fleeting, nice moment in your life. Let's make them more than that. It's the year, shall we? So we're going to do quite a few heart-opening poses because it, he is the Prem Avatar, and a lot of this shift in consciousness will happen in the heart center. So making your bodies long. Bring your hands to the heart. Press your left hand into your right hand. Lift through the heart. Drop your shoulders down. Tuck your chin in a little bit. Scoop your tailbone. And your abdominals are engaged. Take a few nice deep breaths. Anchor yourself in this moment. And in the middle of your heart center, or maybe at your third eye, see how the master, Paramahansa Yogananda, is there. Welcome him. If you've never seen his picture before, if you don't know who he is, it doesn't matter. Say, Yogananda Ji, you are welcome in my soul temple. Show me the way to love myself to love spirit, and to love all life the way that you did.
feel his response. The Holy Ones always answer, always, in all ways. So with that presence, one of the great, greatest ways, I just want you to listen to something, because one of the greatest ways is to get any of the masters to resonate more deeply inside of you is to, is to read their words or to hear their words. So listen to this. Not through a delusory life, but through a regular and balanced life will you receive the blessings of the masters. Then evil will never use you as an instrument, a regular and balanced life, you will receive the blessings of the masters. And again, 2012, this will be the year we bring into balance our male, female, mental, emotional, spiritual, physical aspects. Now release your hands and place them on the earth. As you feel the earth underneath your fingertips, be very grateful for being here at this time. And then as you inhale, bring your arms up. Stretch them. Hold here for a moment. Get your shoulders down as your arms help your spine lift up. You'll feel your belly engaged. Breathe. You can exhale and inhale. Good. Now interlace your fingers and place them on top of your head. We're going to do a few movements to strengthen and open the heart. And then we're going to do a little meditation. So take a deep inhale, pull your belly in, and slowly come down. And I know this is the first time we're moving, so go easy. If you'd like to, you can put a block underneath your forehead if you need to. Go ahead and put a block there. You can even put two blocks there. Some of us are going to come all the way down. And then take a couple of long, deep breaths here. Breathe in. Breathe out. Allow the light, the energy, the power, which is Yogananda, and you together. Bring it invited into your low back. He says, the Lord wants us to escape this delusive world. He cries for us, for he knows how hard it is for, to gain deliverance. But you only have to remember that you are his child. Don't pity yourself. You are loved just as much as by God as are Christ and Krishna. You must seek his love, for it is encompasses eternal freedom, endless joy, and immortality. And well, I would humbly uh, um, invite you to seek that love within, the freedom within. Now engage your core and pull yourself up using your hands on your head. Inhaling. Now exhaling, come over to the side. Inhale, come up. Exhale over to the other side. Inhale up. Now pull your navel in. Here we're going down, but we're not staying. Only go as far as you can. Inhale up. Now we'll come together. Exhale to the right side. Just, we're just opening. Inhale. Exhale. So Yogananda wrote a book called Autobiography of a Yogi. We're coming forward. And in it, he chronicles his life. Inhale up. If you read it, it's not, you'll get an idea of what a master's life looks like. It's not what you think. It's not a bed of roses. He had to face many, or if not all, the things we did were coming center. Inhale up. Exhale over. And up. And over. Good. Coming center. Pull your navel in. So cleansing third chakra. Inhale up. Now this time when we come over, right elbow to right knee. We're going to change the stretch a little bit. And up, sit up tall, make your back work, make your belly work, exhale over. Good. Let's do that again, over to the right. And up. 
over to the left and up. Now press your hands up, drop your shoulders down, breathe. At the beginning of his life, the master talked about when he was a tiny baby, he could speak different languages until he said he would say words in different languages until his ear got accustomed to the Bengali language of his family. Take a deep inhale, exhale down. And he said he got very frustrated as you inhale your hands behind you, squeeze your shoulder blades together, lift your arms up, really open your heart. He said it was very frustrating. He wasn't necessarily um, an easy baby, right? We think, oh, an avatar. It's going to be a cakewalk. He got so frustrated because a master being in a baby's body, not able to control it, he screamed, he says he cried. Bring your hands over to the right side. So right hand brings the left hand around, shoulders forward, up, back and down, breathe. You know, so if any of you at home or any of you had babies that are fussy and you think, oh, what's wrong with my baby? Nothing. It could be that their beautiful divine consciousness is very frustrated being condensed into a tiny baby form. Breathe. And bring your hands behind you, lift up. And then over. But he's mother, take your left hand, bring your right hand around. His mother was an incarnation of love and tenderness. He fell in love. She really was an aspect of the Divine Mother who came to nurture him for his mission. But do you know what she did in order to, to nurture him? She left the body when he was 11. 11. He was so distraught, bring your hands behind. He found out when he was at a railroad station and was about to hurl himself in front of the train. He was so upset. Now release and grab one hand in front of you. Have you ever been that upset before? You know, just life is over. And go ahead and release. That's the other thing. You know, those of us who said, you know, I really can't take this anymore. There's too much pain. Release. We might think we're, uh, we're uh, not strong enough. Sometimes we're just sensitive and we have to get back into uh, our strength. Last thing we'll do is bring your elbows and then your arms then your elbows. Really open up your heart. It takes tremendous inner strength to move into illumination, enlightenment, mastery. And, but that's the invitation for many of us as we take advantage of the new energies and we have lights like Yogananda to show us the way. All right. Now, here's what I'd like you to do. And I am going to time this. Close your eyes, lift your gaze to the third eye. Now, I, now that, and one of the reasons that um, I wanted to do a little bit of movement and breath first is just to clear some of the dross. Gaze is lifted to the third eye. I'd like you to just watch your breath. As it comes in, mentally chant prem, meaning love. And as you leave, as the breath leaves your body, a hum, meaning I am. Prem on the inhale, a hum on the exhale. We're going to do this for one minute. Completely relax and just watch your breath. All right, take a deep inhale. As you hold the breath in your lungs, just love, love. And if you want to give it a face, 
that looks like Yogananda just for this next hour. Go ahead and do that exhale through the mouth. Ah. You know, if we took little drinks, it's like going to a water fountain throughout the day and taking little sips of water. If we could do that one minute meditation, stilling, going inside. Notice that meditation has nothing to do with outside. It's all about realizing what's inside. Let's come on to all fours. Begin to move your, your body slightly. Boy, there was a deep stillness in the room, wasn't there? Hmm. So I'm sure we're moving, breathing, and living and having our breath and his deep blessings. <laughs>